Yes. Okay guys, I have a pretty cool one here today, a floating boat dock. I wanted a dock so I didn't have to launch the boat every time I took it out on the river. So I went down to see Rubber Ducky Doctor, had him order me in some goods. A couple weeks later, this is how it arrived. This stuff is just like Lego for adults. I tell you, it's a lot of fun to put together. And I love the modular design because if you ever want to change it, you just unbolt a couple and you can change it into any shape you want. You can go three meters forward, three meters left, four meters right. You can do just about anything with these blocks. I really love the design. Having a look here, we've got four of the square floats. They have a large pin that presses in. Sometimes you really need to stomp them to get them in. And then with the provided tool, you need to rotate it 45 degrees to lock it in. Having a look at the edge, they have nuts and bolts. If you have a gap like this, they sell spacers. You place the spacer facing inwards and then tighten the nut and bolt as hard as you can. It does have a locking nut on it. I went over with an adjustable wrench after and really tightened the hell out of them. But be aware that if you do tighten them this much, they're pretty well a throwaway item if you need to undo them. Having a look at where the contoured floats meet the square floats, we've got these smaller pins. They also push in in a very similar manner, 45 degree twists, and they're locked. So that's it, we got it down to the river, then it was time to put it in and see how it went. Safe to say this thing is buoyant. You can see me jumping on it here. It is just so stable. As you can see, Sam almost goes for a swim here. And then we just tie it off. Now some of you might be wondering why there's holes in the middle. That's purely a financial thing. Every one of those floats costs a couple hundred dollars. So in just the four that are missing, that's between 800 and a thousand dollars saving. I may end up changing this in the future, as just like Sam slipped in before, I've also now slipped in and I'm concerned about the children, so I might end up changing that. This is literally the first time driving it up and bang, it goes up first time. As you can see, this is a perfect fit for this boat. It leaves you a half a metre walkway on the right hand side, left hand side and the front for you to comfortably walk around the entire boat when it's up and out of the water. As you can see here, I put it into reverse, give it some revs, and it pulls itself off of the floating dock. Some heavier boats or boats with different hull shapes may need to be winched on and off, so bear that in mind when you're looking into it. So that's it, now we have the use of this beautiful boat anytime we need, with minimal effort. Looking forward to getting on the river this summer. We'll see you out there. Thanks for watching.